Hello. Hey guys. <laughs> Today we are doing a Q&A about our wedding. So we're just gonna be answering your questions. Let's just dive in. How long did y'all practice your first dance? Very, very long time. Yeah, I think we started practicing in July or August. Of the, yeah. Of 2021. And then we got married March 2022. Yeah. And then we, last minute, decided to do our surprise dance or whatever. We put that one together pretty fast, actually. Yeah. Which and is it's, really she impressive. Fully, fully choreographed that one versus the other one we had someone help us get like the yeah, bones the, up. The first dance we took dance lessons for and they yeah. like choreographed it, but then we pretty much revamped all of it. It would have been better just if we choreographed yeah. it, I feel like. But it, they still did well, a good even, job yeah. giving us the bones, like you said. The tango dance we just did ourselves. And that came together really fast. Yeah, that did. I feel like we did that like in January. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, darn the luck, we probably don't have time. You're like, let's just try a couple moves. And I was like, Yeah, and then okay. we did it really fast. And yeah. that was actually the better one, I think. Yeah, it had more showiness to it. Yeah. Yeah, you're talented at choreographing, so we could have easily saved the money on the dances, <laughs> or on the dance lessons. But I also didn't know any steps to any ballroom yeah, dancing, they, they so taught, I at least learned. They taught us the basics a lot, too. I was scared for all the dancing, but I was glad. <laughs> I just forced it. Yeah, I was glad you enjoyed it and it worked out well. Yeah. And people liked it, so that was cool. I didn't feel like I was too bad. Were you sad to leave the wedding? Like, were you like, dang, it's already over? Yeah, the wedding day flew by so fast. And it was just, I was really sad when it ended. I don't know. I'm still sad it ended. <laughs> like, I wish I could just replay it or that we could have another wedding day. <laughs> It was a lot of fun. I would say I was a little sad too and it just felt rushed honestly as well like I didn't get to like have a proper like we're leaving the venue now which was just like hey sparklers are lit you guys need to be gone and we're yeah. like oh crap well, okay. we had to, we, yeah we did our final dance too. Yeah. We just, but it was like we had to rush we were like where are our phones and we were like yeah. we didn't know where anything was either but it was good too. I was also just nervous to leave and get to the hotel. <laughs> that was also was, another question. I was like, please just slow down. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was another question. It was like, were you scared to get to the wedding night? I was. I, I When we got to the hotel, I literally took, I feel like an hour in, in the bathroom just like getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> you did take a while. Yeah, I probably took like a five minute shower and I was like, all right, I'm ready. And then I went to shower and like, get ready in my pretty outfit but i was literally just like standing i was ready for a while really but i was just standing in the mirror for like an hour no really <laughs> i didn't know you were sure. i was so nervous <laughs> man i didn't know that i wasn't like <laughs> nervous but i was like I feel like I was more anticipating it like before the wedding then the wedding day came and I was just like this is like a lot of fun I'm exhausted after the wedding day and it was a little more like like I was able to wait that hour and not be on the edge like freaking out versus I feel like that wouldn't I wouldn't have expected that I feel like I would have been like on the edge of my seat like what's taking her so long but I was honestly <laughs> just like relaxing because I hadn't sat down like all yeah. day so I was just kind of like okay like <laughs> take your time I'll relax and then yeah, I wasn't too nervous though. I was nervous. I was like, I don't know when I'm gonna come out of here, out of this room. <laughs> Wait till you hear me snoring and then you're like, oh darn it. Yeah, the okay. <laughs> We're just pounding on the door. <laughs> it all turned out well. Yeah. What was the your favorite part of the wedding day? There are a lot of favorite parts for me. I liked the ceremony. It was just cool getting to be walked down the aisle, stand there. <laughs> staring into your eyes. <laughs> I liked doing our first dance and then our surprise salsa dance because we practiced a lot for it and that was like what I was the most excited for leading up to it was just dancing. <laughs> the first look with Brandon, my bridesmaids, and my dad, those were all really cool. Just, I liked the whole entire day a lot. <laughs> I didn't have any first looks. You had a first look with me. But it was your first look. I'm saying like no one like oh. waited to see me in my, you know, get up and I was like, whoa. I've only seen that staged. I really don't think any groomsman actually cares because they're all dressed the same pretty much. Yeah. I would agree with all the best things. I really liked the vows. It was fun. 
anymore. Yeah. Because it's like, I don't, not saying that you should, but like you don't have too many moments in your life where you like to sit down and like think a long time about what you want to say and like say it to that person. Mm -hmm. And that was just like the moment to do that, I feel like. So that was fun. Yeah. And the reception was really fun too once we started dancing. Yeah. It was really fun. Crowd surfing. Did anything go wrong on the <laughs> wedding day? <laughs> Button fell off a groomsman's jacket. <laughs> that was pretty oh, bad. Oh, yeah. And one of your groomsmen clogged up the toilet yeah. <laughs> in your room. <laughs> yeah. We didn't have a functioning toilet downstairs. Pretty, pretty bad. Oh, we broke the bowling alley. Oh, yeah. Not on purpose, but we just like left it for a little bit and then came back and then it wouldn't turn back on. The main thing that happened was Lola was supposed to be in the wedding. I literally ordered like this custom wedding dress that matched my wedding dress. She had a veil. We had someone to walk her down the aisle right before I walked down the aisle. Like she was like the main event. Like the. <laughs> The more I hear you say this, I'm like, maybe it's a good thing that didn't happen. <laughs> like, she, <laughs> so like the extra. the flat. It was like the the oh, ring last, bear, the yeah. ring bear, the flower girls, and then Lola. Like, <laughs> she was like the main person. But no. So this is what happened. And a lot of people have asked, like, how did you get pictures with her? I took my bridal portraits the month before our wedding just so I could have a lot of pictures taken because I didn't even take pictures on the wedding day because it was just so busy. So I brought her to my bridal portraits. The morning of our wedding day, my grandma, which I don't want to make my grandma feel bad at all if she's watching this, <laughs> but... The door doesn't she, watch. Yeah, the, our door, my parents' door to our house was broken unless you locked it the door would just swing open and my grandma she went out to run an errand and she didn't lock the door because she didn't know how to and so the door just swung open and lola she loves to run out if the door's open so my grandma went to go run an errand <laughs> lola ran out of the house and then my parents they noticed that the door was open and they're like um the door's open where's lola <laughs> and so then it turned into this big dog chase on the day of the wedding, <laughs> but no one told me until my dad had been looking for her like all day and I was supposed to have a first look with my dad and my dad called me really, Wait. really close till the time of our first look and he was like, um, I need to start getting ready, but I'm, I've been out looking for a little look because unfortunately <laughs> she's been missing all day. He's like, I can either keep looking for her till the wedding starts or I can get ready for our first look. And then at that point, I was crying. <laughs> I was like, well, I want to have a first look with you so you can get ready. She ended up being missing for, I think, two days. And I ended up getting Wi-Fi on the flight to our honeymoon to Paris because I was like posting ads on Facebook and all these other dog websites. And my parents continued to look for her on the streets and they posted dog wanted signs or whatever all over the city that they live in. They ended up finding her at some random apartment. Yeah. They they, they didn't They in. didn't even turn themselves in for the rewards. The it was their neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> their their neighbor was like, "Yeah, I think that this is your dog. My neighbor has them. I don't I think they. Like I don't think they would have ever turned themselves bag. in because yeah, the cause the sign was just giant like, reward missing dog, and it was obvious it was Lola on the picture. Yeah. Would you have done anything differently for your wedding day? Trying like every piece on for the the guys because I know it's like easy to just be like, oh, it fits. I'm good. But like we had a few like cufflink problems and then like someone's button fell off and we had to like scramble looking for someone with a sewing kit and like all these things where it's just like trying everything on as you should exactly wear it for the wedding would probably have been like a good because i would have noticed like oh my cufflinks don't work well enough i need to get a different pair which i ended up borrowing my like one of my groomsmen just so that they like fit better like there's just a lot of like i didn't try everything out yeah which i should have been like decked out just to make sure it all fit once and if you agree to do a letter exchange to not forget to write your letter oh yeah he forgot <laughs> to write his letter so we were i like, got her a gift we we did our first look and then i was like oh here's your letter <laughs> do you have yours and he was like no <laughs> and then the photographer's like don't worry if it's in the group and sweet i'll go get it for you and i was like i, was wish like, it I, was. <laughs> I was like yeah it, 
I have the gift. <laughs> She's like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, that'll make you feel better. And, and then like a month later, he wrote me a letter. <laughs> yeah, so I guess that's pretty much it for this Q&A. If y'all have any more questions and want a part two, we can do that. But yeah, put them in the comments or yeah, just message DM us. us yeah. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs>